वॉचिंग न्यूज एक्स एंड न्यूज एक्स यूट्यूब विद मी मेघा शर्मा एंड जस्ट अ फ्यू मोमेंट्स अ गो चंद्रयान टू द ऑबिटर डिसाइडेड टू इट फाइनली डिटैच इट सेल्फ फ्रॉम द लैंडर विक्रम विच इज obviously carrying forward pragyan the rover into the moon's surface in the downward journey that is go going to carry on for the next 7 days now which is actually finally going to soft land into onto the moon's surface the south pole of the lunar surface on september 7th now this is massively significant and uh, isro is kind of going to continuously track this entire event these 7 days are going to be of ex extremely crucial extremely massive big uh, importance especially because of the fact that till until now the orbiter had been taking care of uh, the lander and the rover lander vikram which is of course carrying the rover but now henceforth the journey begins it is uncharted territory so until now even chandrayaan 1 when it had continued with its maneuvers those five maneuvers that actually landed chandrayaan 1 into the lunar uh, orbit the closest to the moon that is at 100 in 200 kilometers uh, that's uh, what chandrayaan chandrayaan 1 had been able to achieve now chandrayaan 2 after this is uncharted territory in fact even the isro chairman uh, sivan had also walked on about making an analogy saying that this is like a bride parting from her parents house so that's exactly what the condition is right now for chandrayaan 2 the the lander and the rover that are going to be headed into the onto the moon's surface on september 7 but what exactly is is going to happen between those 7 days is what i'm going to tell you now uh the detachment has happened this happened at 115 pm and within the 500 mi um, uh, milliseconds this detachment happened after a set of commands was set off by the isro uh, uh, scientist back uh, on the ground at sri harikota and on to the autonomous uh, commands that were in fact executed uh, in a clockwise fashion in a clockwork fashion very smoothly extremely efficiently and now what is going to happen tomorrow and day after is the downward journey that is going to begin now there is going to be a deorbiting maneuver that is going to be taking place of the uh, lander of vikram and this is going to happen tomorrow and the day after and finally the downward journey is going to begin the lander is finally going to be around the moon's orbit at exactly that precise point that uh, the isro scientist the isro uh, team wants it to be the the calculations have already been done the uh, the Uh, the lander and the rover have already been uh, uh, propelled on into the uh, into the moon's orbit at that exact place where the correct landing is going to take place so now it's all about being precision and then when on september 7th what is going to happen is that the lander is finally going to land on the south pole this is the first time ever that any space agency any country has even dared to go to the south pole of the moon to figure out what exactly the, uh, the uh, what exactly the surface entails and uh, this is what is going to happen that is that when once the lander lands it's the job of the rover to actually uh, figure out what exactly uh, is the crater are those craters on the south pole uh, of the moon holding what are those uh, what are the what is the information what is those uh, what are those minerals the atmosphere over there when we talk about other ex other important information of course about the fact that whether there is ice over there we already did find ice and whether that hydrogen and oxygen can be used by uh, india and in which way can the, it it be pro, uh, taken from moon onto the earth surface remains to be seen all this information and more is going to be garnered is going to be gathered by rover that's the job of the rover it is going to rove on the south pole of moon now what is exactly going to happen is how many days is going to happen is there is going to be uh, 14 earth days Uh, which means that it is going to be just one lunar day so it uh, the rover and the lander have exactly 14 days to accumulate all the information that is on the surface of the moon on the south pole and then 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 what is going to happen is the descent meanwhile the orbiter continues to revolve around the orbit of the moon and it is going to continue doing so for another one year 
So this is exactly how it is. It is a massive feat that has been achieved by India, by the ISRO team. The entire world was looking with bated breath. And of course, it was a big moment. There, It was a nail-biting finish at the end of the day to finally have that orbiter detach itself from the lander, which is now going to be on the surface of the moon in the next seven days. In fact, the landing is going to take place in the V hours between 1.55 and 2.55 a.m. on September 7th. So we are at NewsX going to track every single movement of the lander, this historic moment, even as it continues for the next seven days. Uh, so continue glued on to NewsX because we are closely tracking the landing of Chandrayaan 2, a historic moment. Never has it been attempted by any space agency across the world so it is it is a big moment it's a moment of pride it's a moment of joy and it's a moment of extreme extreme stupendous performance by our ISRO team for more such videos subscribe to the newsx youtube channel hit the bell icon